Welcome back everyone. Yay, it's another chat. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Today is uh, Thursday the 23rd, I believe. Isn't it the 23rd? Yes, February 23rd, 2023. So it's 2-23-23. All these twos. <laughs> so I hope everyone is doing well. It is time for me to give you an update. Oh, I feel like I might have my lunch on me. Oh my goodness. Been a busy couple days. Life is getting in the way of what I want to do, y'all. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Working on the log cabin. Right now I'm doing the, the, the gray block that goes in between. And I'm going to pick another color when I finish that. And let me tell you what's going on over here with my coffee. Don't peek, y'all. Don't peek. Don't peek. I got a different cup. It's green. Are y'all ready for it? I got a new cup. <laughs> Can you read it? Awake-ish. That's me. Awake-ish. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's really good. Okay, it's really hot, too. And I got a new cup warmer. So today's decaf coffee is Tote Liche. And it's by Carlos. Not Carlos, but Carlos. Carlo as in an Italian thing, you know? Not the Carlos as in the other. So, so it's Carlos Bake Shop. Since 1916. Dolce Leite. Dolce Leche decaf. It's good. I like it. Mmm. So, I'm really enjoying drinking out of the cups. We're a little bit cooler today, so this is feeling really good right now. I went out and I mailed packages today, and then, you know, I want to be watching the trial because the Alec Murdoch trial is on and today Alec Murdoch is on the stand. They are thinking he's gonna be on the stand for a couple of days. Oh. I'm, I'm really kind of far behind where I have not actually gotten to listen to the whole thing. It is what it is. Mm. But I really like that. That is good. Dolce leche. <sighs> Feels really good. So how are you guys today? What are you working on? I have had some questions. Let me see if I can look at them. All right, let's see. Let me go to my comments. One of the questions I had was about my friend Renata and someone wanted to know if, if Renata and Pete ever got together, like as in like, did they carry on their relationship? And no, they did not. They saw each other like just a few times, but Pete's family would, they moved back to the United States um, before he graduated from high school. So nothing really ever happened with them. Now, I don't know whether they ever got in contact with each other beyond that, because I know that my friend Renata wound up coming to the United States and being a nanny for someone over here. And so she is in the U.S. But I lost contact with her after we moved back to the States. So 
I know that my mother wrote to her mother for a little while, but I, I have no information about where to find her. So, it is what it is. And then... Yeah, and they asked if I kept in contact with her. That was another one. And I think there was another question. Might be easier to go over here. Because I can check my comments and then, and I can do, where they have questions. Someone asked about the baby, uh, Mary, Mary Webb wanted to know if I was making that baby blanket for anyone in particular, and no, I have, I am not. I started making that granny square I was making a different blanket and I was not liking the way the other blanket was coming out so I decided to just do a regular granny square because I liked the colors the way the colors looked I had them all in that bag and I just loved the way those colors look together so I'm going to do the granny square because I started crochet with granny squares that was and I just did a ton of the granny squares I used whatever yarn I had and I never ever color co changed I just I started with one and then went next did the next one and then went and it was all very very random so I only did growing up scrap granny square blankets and I just decided you know what I haven't done one in a while so I'm gonna do one and I got a pretty good size of that square done and then it was like you know this would be really cool to do the little squares and put those around and so that's that's just how that evolved and I just love the way it came out but no it wasn't for anyone I just was wanting to make it and I don't know right now where it's going to go um, I don't know whether I will more than likely I will give it to charity more than likely then someone wanted to know because I told the story about the train. So let me let me tell y'all that story. So getting on the train after having messed up, you know, I I missed my train. I had a ticket, but I missed it. Missed the train. And then I used my last of my change to call and Sven answered and then he hung up so that I didn't and then that guy came up remember that story okay so what happened was I wound up going to the conductor not the conductor but the ticket booth and I told them what happened and they got me with a conductor who put me on a train to Frankfurt which was past where I was going but he put me on the next train, which was the one to Frankfurt. And he told the conductor on that train, you know, that I needed to get out off in Ruselsheim. So that's how that went. <laughs> Finally made it home. So, yeah. So let me give you guys a little bit of a synopsis for those of you that are wanting to know. I uh, let me turn off this heater because with this blanket on, this heater too much. So I have a little remote for the for the heater. Let me see if I can reach it. Got it. So I'm gonna recap what happened the last couple of days and why I feel like I am running from both ends and you know coming and going not both ends yeah that doesn't sound right <laughs> not what I meant 
I mean that I feel my like I'm coming and going. <laughs> I hope y'all didn't spit your coffee on that one. <laughs> okay, so recap. Tuesday, Mr. Fiber and I went to I went to the doctor and saw the it, uh, do the heart doctor. And he asked me a bunch of questions, and then he said, okay. He said, well, he said right now that there wasn't a whole lot he could do because he needs to see, actually see the AFib come up on something. Something needs to be where he can read it, where he can see what it's doing. So he sent me to the lab to go get blood work done that day on Tuesday. And then he set, gave me another order for an echocardiogram. So Mr. Fiber and I went to, went to the lab, <clears throat> got, it's basically, it was like cholesterol and some other things that were looking to see, um, you know, stuff that was related to the heart. So those kind of blood tests. So just some basic stuff and cholesterol stuff. And then we went, Mr. Fiber and I went to uh, Golden Corral and had lunch. We did that after. And then we went to the place where I was supposed to get the, car, the echocardiogram because I had to go in and I had to give them the order and get scheduled. And then after that, we went to Hobby Lobby. So if you haven't seen it yet, I came back on Tuesday evening and I had a live and I showed all of my stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby. So if y'all have not seen my haul, you can go over and check that out because I haven't had a yarn haul in a while. I've been getting some stuff in the mail, but not like go and, and get a haul. So then, then we came home and so then yesterday, Wednesday, I had to go back and go to get my echo. And I did that. And then I went back to Hobby Lobby and I got some more of one of the yarns that I had gotten the day before. And, and I went and I looked at their diamond paintings and I got a couple of the diamond paintings that, that are that were on sale. So I'll be putting those out on my other channel, Shiny She Shed. And yeah. And then I went, I had, I got some lunch and then I went by Joann's and I got a couple things at Joann's and then that's actually where I got this cup, this awake-ish cup. It's 40% off. Mm. So good. Joanne was having 25% off on Lion Brand and they were having 30% off on Big Twist. And I don't know if that's still going on this week, but you might check. And this week was the 30% off at on All Yarn at Hobby Lobby. And my Hobby Lobby in Abilene, Texas, is resetting their yarn. So they had, when, when Mr. Fiber and I were there on Tuesday, they had things kind of a mess already. They kind of had stuff all on the floor and, and they had moved like their blanket yarn. And I thought, this is weird. Because I saw that and I was like, where'd the rest of the yarn go? And so what they were doing, you know, a lot of the Hobby Lobbies, when you come in and you go to the back, the yarn is off to the left. So I always, usually the plants, fake plants and stuff, and then some other stuff and, you know, like the, the 
all the flowers and all of that stuff. And then some other things like their seasonal stuff. And then they have like material and the bolts and all that, you know. And then usually the yarn, well then the books and then the yarn. But this Hobby Lobby had the yarn. And then in the corner, this Hobby Lobby has like material. And then they have like the framing place and then like some art supplies. And then they had the yarn over to the right of that. So it was set up kind of strange to me. Well, they're resetting it and they're moving their yarn over now over to that left side. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if they're going to expand the yarn or if they're going to have less yarn. They were busy doing stuff. I didn't ask them. But it was interesting. And then I went back to the back and they were selling. Um, they had marked down a whole bunch of their diamond paintings back there. And so I got a couple more. goodness so that was yesterday and then I was just after the two days I was just plain tired just tired and then today well and then last night when I got home I finished getting all of the packages ready that needed to go out because I sold some more of my hand dyed yarn uh, that I had the, the no label stuff and you know some more yarn sold some more yarn on Sunday and I hadn't had a chance to get those out because you know Monday no, the mail wasn't going anywhere so yeah so I got all that done and then today Serbs and I went to the post office and we took the the packages to the post office and we went by the grocery store we got a couple things there and what else did we do I think that's it but before we went to the post office we had a little adventure out here y'all I'm just out here minding my own business and I got helicopters and you know stuff <laughs> So today, I'm sitting here, and I see the top of a pickup truck out my window, right here in front of the she shed, going past to the side of the house. And I'm like, that, and, and I know what Mr. Fiber's truck sounds like. And Serbs did not get up and go, you know, get all excited. And I was really kind of upset with him because he didn't even bark or anything. He... He heard it just like I did. So I'm a little upset he didn't bark. And it makes me wonder if he has heard this truck before. Because it was the guys from the electric company. And they came to change the meter. Now this is no big deal. But we have a lock on the gate. So there shouldn't be anybody coming up here. Now, I know how he did it. I know how he got in. And I'm not going to divulge that right now. Okay? I'm not going to make that public. But I was a little ticked off that he, that he bypassed everything. So, I may be making a phone call. <sighs> I think that I should have gotten... A courtesy call telling me that they were going to come and change the meter and they did not do that I don't wish to keep them from the meter but a courtesy call they didn't even knock nothing they just came on in here do what they wanted to do and then they out the, and I'm like and I went out there and y'all <laughs> I was in my jammies this is before we went to the post office and I was in my jammies and I didn't have a bra on and I'm running out there in my clogs and my jammies going, what are y'all doing? Because they were turning to go down that way. See, we have two meters. We have one for the well house, which is for our water. That That's a separate electric. 
So we have two electric bills, one for the water and one for the house. So they were turning to go down there to go put the meter down there and change that one. And I said to him, I said, but you know, how come I didn't, y'all didn't let me know? He says, well, I didn't have your number. And I said, he says, do they have your number? I said, yeah, it's this one right here. I had my phone in my hand. Yeah, this one right here. They have it. So, because, you know, they don't come and read the meter. They average it. They quit coming out here and actually reading what the meter says. They just started averaging it. Which is lovely because the last couple of months our our bill has been so absolutely astro astronomical. Let me get that word out. It's been so expensive. We've had some hellacious bills. That's going to drive that average up. What's this new meter for? I didn't go out to see what that was all about. I don't know that I would know what I was looking at. So that's today's adventure. And of course, Duke didn't bark either. Which makes me think, okay, he's seen them before too. He doesn't bark at the helicopters. Because he hears them all the time. It's nothing new to him. Serbs didn't bark. Which means they've been coming in here. Since I've had Serbs. And I've only had him just over a year. So they've been doing this. Bypassing the gate for a while. Anyway, that's that. That's my story for today. And that's what's been going on the last couple of days. And then I answered your questions. So let's see what else is going on. Um... Oh, and then I got a, I, I called and I got a date for the halter monitor that I have to wear. That will be on the March the 3rd. I'll be wearing a halter monitor for two weeks. So I may know something by the end of March about what's going on. And then right after that, I'll be going to the pulmonologist about the sleep apnea. And I talked to my dad last night and he said, geez, you're starting to have as many appointments as I do. <laughs> I said, I know. I didn't call to bore you with my appointments. <laughs> he said he was doing better, but he's still tired from his trip. <laughs> I like that one. Dolce leche. That's good stuff. Dolce leche means good stuff. <laughs> That's what it means, right? Uh. So I'm trying to think of another story for you guys. Chelsea sent me a whole bunch of pictures of Aridin. You know, I've been telling you guys about Aridin. She was such a good girl. Let me see if I've got those pictures on my phone. Hold on.
I'll show you a picture of her when she, yeah, here she is when she was a puppy. There her was when her was a puppy. And then here she is with Mr. Fiber. She's laying on the couch with Mr. Fiber. She was so little. You see her sitting way up there <laughs> on the back of the couch. Oh, my goodness. Chelsea was reminding me of some stories, too, and I'm trying to think. Trying to think now what the stories were. I did tell some more stories about her on my whip and chat diamond painting on my other channel so you guys can go and listen i have some stories over there too and i'm trying not to tell the same stories in both places <laughs> i do have one story serbs went out the other night and he takes off and he goes down he does this all all duke has to do is go <sighs> You know, some little whiny thing. And Serbs goes running after him. And they take off down the hill. Off down where they're not supposed to go. And that's what they did. And it was like 1130 at night. And I'm in my jammies. And I have to put my coat and my hat, my shoes and the flashlight. And go after him. I did not go down the hill. But... <laughs> I could hear him back there and he's not coming back. It was making me mad. Oh, and I thought, oh, and I could smell skunk. And I'm like, he's going to come back and he's going to stink to high heaven. Then I have to give him a bath at like midnight to get this, you know, with this, all the stuff, this de-skunker stuff. Well, luckily they didn't catch whatever it was. Luckily. And I thought, mm hmm you are going to be sore tomorrow. He was fine. But it got me to thinking about Aridin because she went down into, we have this um, old cellar back here that the top of it uh, is concrete and it has fallen in. Well, We heard her barking back here, and it was strange because she always had this, like, certain kind of bark. So if it was a snake, we kind of would know it was something like that. If it was a skunk, we she had certain bark that was a skunk. You know, she just had certain barks. And this one was a little bit odd because I couldn't figure out, well, I know it's coming from behind the house, but where's she at? Well, she was down in the old cellar. And there was a skunk in there. And inside of the cellar, there is concrete, like, you know, that is bricks, concrete bricks and stuff, you know, stuff that's the, from the roof where it had fallen in. And there was um, boards stacked all on top of each other with all of that kind of on. And so she could kind of get under those boards and evidently that's where that skunk had gone. It had gone down and under all of that, all of those boards and up underneath all of that concrete and everything. And she was after it, man. She was after it. <sighs> Next thing you know, and, and we tried to get her to stop. We're like, well, he's already gone. He's already gone all the way through and up and out, most likely. But she can still smell him. And she wants in there. And she goes in and she grabs these boards with her teeth. And she's pulling these boards out. She's going to just pull all that stuff out of there so she can get to that skunk. Oh, and I told Mr. Fiber, I said, I hope that if there was ever some time that she needed to come in after me, that she, you know, that she was around because... She was fearless. Fearless. Tough old girl.
Serbs is fearless too. He has absolutely no problem going after stuff. Not at all. He, it, it doesn't bother him one bit to go in after stuff. Now, let's pick... I'm going to show you the other color I'm going to do next. This is the last row for this gray one. And I'm, this is Ocean Current. That's what I'm going to do. And it will be So see, here's the Love Me Do. And I, and, I'm, and I turned like that, the 90 degrees, and now I'm doing this gray. So when I get back to, where am I at now? I'm here, and I'm gonna turn and come back and back to here, and that will be right here, and I'm gonna turn and go this way, which means I'm going to come back over the top of that Love Me Do color. And that's what's going to go there. It's going to be pretty. And this is the last color that I'm going to do before I start over. So what I'm going to do now is after that one, I'm going to start over with what I had here in the center. Can you all see that? And I'm probably going to do this Raspberry Rush. And then I'll do this one. Which I think this one is. I can't remember what this one's called. But I'll start over again with whatever I have left of those before it gets too big. And I may have to add something else in. I don't know yet. We'll see. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to come back, give you an update, and give you another little story, and I'm so glad y'all came and visited with me. I'm really so very thankful for all of the new people that are here. Don't forget to make some comments on the videos, because your name will get put in the jar. I have my jar down here, got all my names in there. I'm pulling at the end of the week on Sunday, well, usually by Monday, I will pull the the names from the week before and I'm gonna put them all in. Now I'm gonna to wait to the end of, of the last day, the 28th, and I'm going to pull all the names and um, so make comments on all the videos and then your name will get put in the drawing for, for, a, for a project bag and some hand-dyed yarn and some other goodies. You guys, have a wonderful day, have fun today, and I'll see you later. Bye, everybody.